is just leaving. Any plans for the rest of the day? I'm going to do the shopping for Dorothy. Do give her my regards, dear. All right, then I will. Uh, is it all? That's all. All right, then I will see you Monday. See you Monday. All right, then. Bye. Cheerio. Sorry about that, Jules. Sylvia was just on her way out. Yes, lovely girl. Spells her name with a W. I know, but I've checked. Definitely pronounced it Sylvia. She's one of the good ones, though. I've forgotten. Oh, yes, the riots. They couldn't have picked a worse day. Just when I convinced Alan out of his loafs and into a pair of Crocs. Yes, Crocs. I know they're hideous, but that's beside the point. They're comfy. Poor Alan, he's in agony with his feet these days. I know, the poor man can hardly stand. Oh, it's a shame there'll be no photographs of them together on the day. So anyway, I've planned the shopping trip. We'll start off in Neil, get some of those lovely bathers like the ones you bought for Jane for her graduation. Oh, I know, I am sorry, but she's left. And they were just here gathering dust and I so wanted to try them. Rather fruity. I prefer the orchid. So anyway, we'd end up in Costa, and over a coffee, I'd present my plan. Crocs. Mission Impossible, codename Crocs. Yes, the riots, they've completely scuppered my plans. Now I can't get him to leave the house for love and money. Yes, I know we live in Oakington, but try telling him that. Poor man's been haunted ever since he lost his wallet in Sainsbury's. Convinced it was stolen. So anyway, now he's gone full-scale lockdown. He won't even let me out of the house to buy a newspaper. He called them up instead. Now we're getting it delivered. Who'd have thought it? A blessing in disguise. At least now I don't have to pass Thornton's on my way to the paper shop. They're vanilla truffles. Oh, they're amazing. God help me, I can't keep away. Oh, Jules, you shouldn't have told me that. Not with Sophia's do less than two weeks away. Yes, yeah, she's having a soiree with Anthony Cheers. Haven't you heard? Would you like me to call her and ask her about it? Exactly. She can go stuff herself. Have you seen the card she sends at Christmas? That's what really put me off. If you're not going to make an effort, don't bother. I'd prefer it if she didn't send one at all. Especially with the care that I take over mine. It's an insult. Anyway, so no, I can't even leave the house. It's Alan. He thinks I'll be corrupted by it all. I mean, can you imagine me looting? Yes, and grabbing a pair of sunglasses each and a bottle of Bolly to swig on the way home. Oh, I know. I know it's bad. It's pure greed. You see them on TV. It's not even out of necessity. I mean, it's not as if they need any of this stuff. They're not stealing food at all. Oh, gosh, that reminds me. I asked Penelope to buy me a La Cruze crockpot for my birthday, but she's got the wrong colour. I wanted to take it back, but today's the last day. I should have asked Sylvia, really. No, he won't let me out of the house. Oh, this is going to be a bother. I stole a hat once, in one of my rebellious periods. I couldn't wear it. I felt so guilty. I ended up burying it in the garden. Oh, Jules, it's not funny. It was horrible. I couldn't wear it. I tried hiding it in my room. The thing kept staring at me. I could almost hear it talking to me. So I buried it in the tulip patch. The tulips didn't grow that year. My mother loved tulips. Such disregard for authority. It's immoral. <laughs>